Good afternoon, brothers. Alpha Kappa Psi has been an integral part of our lives for a very long time. Now, while Dave and Scott didn't join the camaraderie right away, <laughs> Wendy and I became friends in 1981 at the Houston Convention. Now, please, don't do the math. <laughs> Anyways, after Wendy and I became partners in crime, uh, we continued our friendship through various events, whether they were regional meetings, conventions, or in the adventure. <laughs> in 1984, I moved to Houston, but thankfully, that didn't deter Wendy from coming to visit the Deep South and meeting my newfound brothers, Doreen Loveless, i.e. Lorani, and more importantly, this guy by the name of Scott Howard. Of course, Wendy had to put her seal of approval on this guy, but thankfully, Doreen was able to point out all his positive assets. <laughs> also, you may have heard, the very first time Scott and I met was the evening that Nolan Ryan threw his 4,000th strikeout as a Houston Astro. Now, if that's not a memorable, <laughs> a memorable evening, to know that that's when you met your future husband. Well, we got married in 1987, and Wendy and Doreen were part of the ceremony. In 1990, we gave birth to our daughter, Kaylin, and Wendy became her godmother. After the birth of our son, Clay, in 1993, we named Wendy as the guardian of our children in the event of our demise. She embraced her responsibility and made sure she visited us every year to make sure the kids knew who she was. Scott's father had a long battle with cancer and finally succumbed in 1994. At that time, Wendy happened to be in Houston for a work uh, event. And without hesitation, she changed her flight plans, which back then was a pretty big deal. She came to our house and took care of our children so that we could go and mourn the death of a sweet and decent man. Now, Scott and I moved overseas, but again, you know, that didn't stop Wendy from coming to visit. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to visit Stonehenge with a six and a nine-year-old kid? For me, the values of AK side were never more tested than when we lived in Singapore and had to deal with Indonesian tax authorities. Upon audit, I was told that in order to resolve it, I needed to pay an expedite fee. Well, I couldn't do that. Three years later, when I was back in the Far East on a business trip, I learned that the audit case had just been resolved. In our favor, no compromise. Integrity reigns. Okay, now you know. Wendy and Dave met. <laughs> And he proposed to her at the celebration of brotherhood in 2001, and they were married in 2002. Now, Wendy had to make sure that they knew just what he was getting into when he proposed. Well, thank goodness, he agreed that if the worst case scenario happened, he would become the father of two Texas children. <laughs> of course, he agreed, but then, why wouldn't he, after meeting the two cutest kids on the planet? <laughs> or at least according to me. Uh, anyways, in 2002, when Wendy and Dave got married, who was her junior bridesmaid? None other than Kaylin. Of course, Mom was there as a bridesmaid. <laughs> Fast forward, Kaylin was married in 2016. Now, who best to plan a wedding but our own convention planner? Wendy! Yeah. Uh, well, my daughter's not one to make quick decisions, so uh, after two years of planning and Wendy's help, the plans were made, the event was flawless. Except for just this little bit of rain, but then again, Wendy couldn't help it. Now, <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of rain. <laughs> now this brings us to the point of why we have this dedication. For over 40 years, we have made history together, which I hope you reflect and see the same for your relationships. 
And this is why we could not ask to propose a gift to allow us the naming of the rights to the AKSI headquarters without consulting Dave and Wendy in this decision. So now you know our fraternal story and the entailing relationships therein. It was how Scott and I met. It was how we met our daughter's future godmother. It's how we came to have our wonderful circle of friends. The values of AK Psi have guided us throughout our professional and personal lives. This organization's meant the world to us. You've probably heard several times, but the principles of AK Psi solidified the values we learned in our younger days. It reinforced integrity, knowledge, respect, and service in ways that established a foundation, a legacy for us and our family. Now, we want to make sure this carries on. We want to leave Alpha Kappa Psi with the same capabilities to impact future members in the same way. We want Alpha Kappa Psi to be unrivaled development of principal business leaders. Many of you are here today because the fraternity has had an impact on you. Friends, spouses, partners in crime, you name it. But the underlying fact is the fraternity brought you a lifelong friend. I do not know of any other organization that can provide this level of friendship. Why is that? The values of Alpha Kappa Psi transcend all barriers. They are at the root of who we are, socially, professionally, and personally. Come on, come on, <laughs>